As a nerd, I have a few gripes now. Like you don't always. Yeah. More specifically, there's this new lineup of the next next gen consoles, and uh, I just. You know, I looked at it, I looked at everything with them, um, what's this doing, what's the PS4 doing versus the Xbox One, all that shit, looked at it, and I just was left thinking who would want to be a part of this scheme. It's a bunch of crap if you look at it. First off, you know, you have your Xbox One, which seems to pretty much be the lockdown system of the day now. Like, this thing is gonna need to phone home on the internet, it's, you know, destroying the used game market. They basically declared war, it sounds like, on consumer choice, which... I don't know about you as a consumer, but I believe in the choice power of the dollar, and if you want to lock me down into a system where I can only buy from you, basically, or your approved retailers, I don't have used games, and I don't have this, that, and the other, and it's all locked down, well, I'm just going to back away slowly and be like, you can, you can have that. Good for you. Now, I'm going to be over here doing something, anything else. Now, the PS4 seems a little better, in a sense, like... The way they've talked about their policies seems a little less locked down and everything, but to get to my core gripe here about both of the systems, really, I don't see that spark of innovation that... What, what are they doing that's really new? What are they doing that's really game-changing this time around? Well, doesn't look like anything. Oh, the Kinect is included. Who fucking cares? Like, it's the Xbox Kinect, like... Or the... PSI toy thing. No, I don't care. That interests me. And so with all of these peripherals now included, all of these things that are in the game, oh, it's all interconnected. You can watch TV and it'll jerk you off. I don't even know. It's a console, people. Like, if I want to do all that other shit, I'll have a computer. Call me old school. I don't give a shit. But I don't need to have every single service that could possibly be through my TV, through my Xbox, controlled by them, and then you have to pay to get online, to pay to use the services that... Wait, what? So I have to pay to use the thing that I paid for? More. Like, when you right now on 360, you have to pay for Xbox Gold to get Netflix on your Xbox, which you've already paid for. And yeah, it's their network and all that shit, I get it. But... Really, if you want to win over the customers with goodwill and you want to work with them, you don't lock them down. You don't try to control their every movement. You really don't tell them that this business model is no longer relevant because it favors you too much. <laughs> it's how you lose customers. Consoles want to be something that they are not. And I think that's our core problem here, is that we have consoles that want to no longer just be consoles. They want to be app machines that play games. And that's not really the direction, I don't, at least I don't think so, that consoles should be going if they want to be relevant in the future. You're not going to replace the computer. You never will. The only thing that's going to come up that sort of a future is when the computer consumes the whole console market and we go to computer-based gaming altogether or something like that. Consoles are not going to become relevant by becoming your total entertainment system. They're not going to become relevant by, you know, being a TV player and a DVD player and everything else. What they're going to become relevant through, or at least again become relevant, is through games. The reason people buy them in the first place. They're going to become relevant when you offer people games that they want to play in a pricing scheme that they want to pay. <laughs> and as a quick note, if you're taking away the used games market, that's a bunch of bullshit because you do not deserve a cut of used game sales, Mr. Producer. Sorry, you just don't. You Once you've made that first sale, the guy buys it, you got your money for the game. It's now his property. There's nothing in the world that says you should get a cut of your product every time it is changing hands. What that would then mean is like, you know, you have a store, right? It buys Tic Tacs. Not only do they have to pay the Tic Tac company when they buy it, but then they have to pay the Tic Tac company again when they sell it again. The logic there doesn't work. It just doesn't add up. Once something is sold, it's done there, and it moves to the next person's hands, and then they can buy it, sell it, play it, whatever, from there on, as they so choose, as their product. You know what? Big news. 
pirates and used game buyers are not killing the market. Sorry, it's just that's not how this works. You know, music people have been saying that at one point, you know, the ability to record songs off the radio would kill the industry. If you could record them onto your tape cassettes, there'd be no radio industry anymore. Well, that didn't kill the radio industry. The internet did. But you cannot claim that the that the product that is making your product obsolete is killing your industry. Of course it is. If it is killing your industry because it's a replacement product that invalidates your product, that's the march of progress. If your model can only work by either making illegal secondhand trades or by trying to prevent people from ever having to uh, trade away their property, you know, it's theirs, then your model is doomed and it should not work. Remember, this is capitalism. I don't know if you got that last part of capitalism, which is no profits are guaranteed, and as soon as you are replaced, you fall on your ass and you're done. Part of capitalism, sorry, if you are replaced by a competitor who is better, there's no guarantee to your profits. There's no guarantee to anything. You're out of business, sorry. So, in conclusion, as a gamer, I'm sticking with my classic games, PS2 and before. It, it's good. They're still good games. They're still great. And unless you find these new systems to be up your alley, which I'm not going to say you're dumb or anything for that. It's not my thing. I don't see why you would, but if you do, fine. But I feel like at least a lot of my generation of gamers are going to be sticking with the older stuff. I don't know about you, but I'd rather stick with my emulators than this shit. Just something to think about.